While traveling with her husband's band, Hetty Bretz became fascinated with various parenting styles from around the world. Today, the former P uh, speech pathologist is the co-developer of a profile that helps moms discover their unique parenting style. Where were you when my child was <laughs> <laughs> young, younger, Hetty? Welcome to the Harvest Thank you, Show. Valerie. Thank okay, you. so you traveled with your husband. He's in ministry, I take That's it? That's right. He's in music ministry. And so while traveling with him, you know, as a speech pathologist, one thing led to another. And I guess you started investigating or exploring different parenting styles. Tell us about that. What piqued your interest? Well, the frowns I got for the way I, I was raising my kids in oh, the okay. U.S., I suppose. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Had a few uh, people in England knock on a door while I'm disciplining my son mm -hmm. going, it's illegal in this country, ma'am. Get, you know, step out of the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, Really? Yes, absolutely. And uh, just the role culture plays in the idea of the super mom mm -hmm. um, fascinated me. And it was completely something different in the Ukraine, something different in Egypt, Australia, New Zealand, everywhere we got. Mm -hmm. There were little things that you could learn from mothers wisdom, but also just this burden on every mom to be that super mom. And I saw a lot of insecurity and it resonated with my own. Mm -hmm. And I guess a natural mom is, is the culmination of just these observations mm -hmm. and, and the hope I think God offers for us. And, and what, what's the significance of the title, Unnatural <laughs> Mom? Well, it's what I thought I were and mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I slam. Uh, in many ways, each mom has these unnatural moments where you think, am I the only one who brought, you know, store-bought treats for this birthday party? <laughs> or am I the only one who, who mm -hmm. can't get discipline right or mm -hmm. can't get my kids to sleep through the night? And instead of saying, listen, I need help here, we just try and fake it till we make it. Mm -hmm. um, but we're tired mm -hmm. and we're wondering even if maybe spiritually we're not good enough. Mm. Tell me something, um, in South Africa, is it illegal to spank your children? Some say so, but as far as I know, the bull has not been passed. <laughs> <laughs> and whether the bull is passed or not, mm -hmm. I plan on following biblical principles. But um, we try and explain to parents that discipline and spanking can only say one word, and that is no. Mm -hmm. And you need a lot more words <laughs> to mm -hmm. educate kids. You talk about four parenting styles, and yes. I told Stefan I read through them, and I was trying to place myself, <laughs> trying to determine which parenting style suits okay. my personality best. Talk about those styles that you talk about in your book, because, you know, we can fall into several categories, I guess. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. we, we are beautifully and we are wonderfully made. So we are complicated and we are combinations, which doesn't mean we're split personalities. Okay, it that's only means good we're to know. colorful. Um, but I use the image of trees because I want to say something about diversity, uh, seasons, fruitfulness, sometimes, sometimes not so much. You as a mom will know we're mm -hmm. not always that fruitful, that's right. especially with the fruit of the spirit, not always. But uh, I picked four trees. Um, the first one is the rose bush, and this is where we have the flowers and the thorns. These are the go-getter moms. They get stuff done. But in the process, sometimes the kids bleed a little, not literally, <laughs> figuratively. Uh <-huh. laughs> um, and we have the palm tree mom. Now, this, this is, I saw so many here in the States, in Florida, especially on the coast. This is the holiday mom. This is the mom who wants it to be fun around the house. When it comes to discipline, it's a little tougher. Mm -hmm. And routine is a swear word to this mom most of the time. The palm tree moms don't like this. It's a bit more spontaneous. Oh, yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. The pine tree mom is just this peace and harmony mom who possibly has something smelling of cinnamon going in the kitchen, mm -hmm. gathering everybody together. The last one, the boxwood mom, is these boxwood shrubs that you can prune into these beautiful topiary trees. You can make them round, you can make them square, you can make hedges out of them. And this is the mom who wants to do it the right way. She reads the book and then she copy pastes into her own life. And if it doesn't work, she can feel very insecure. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I can tell you now, should I reveal which category I it. fell into? The first uh, one and the, the last one. The rose and the box rose. Box. Yes. Uh, and you're like me. Really? Yeah. That's okay. Me. <laughs> so, I mean, but when you discover you're different from other mothers, that can put pressure on you because, and moms can put pressure on you. You know, you get together, you go to mom's day out, and you find out they do things perfectly or seemingly. Mm. Yes. Um, how do we deal with that? Not, you know, giving into the the pressure of being someone else? 
we listen to what the Word says in, mm -hmm. in Galatians 6, verse 4 to 6. It says, make a careful exploration of who you are and the work you have been given. Then sink yourself into that. Don't be impressed with yourself. Don't compare mm -hmm. yourself with others. And in this very important sentence, each of you must take responsibility to do the creative best you can with your own life. And we give every mom the creative best she can do. We list it for her in case she doesn't know what she's great at. And the irony is everybody else wants to be like her. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, what are some of the, the common misconceptions that you've encountered? And are they uh, universally uh, there? Or is it, again, based on culture and, and uh, climate and where people are geographically located? Mm -hmm. There are differences because the super mom is a cultural myth, I believe, mm -hmm. Stefan. But there are also these, uh, these overarching things, especially in the church, mm -hmm. where we say <clears throat> she will fall pregnant naturally if her prayer life is up to scratch. You know, she will mm -hmm. uh, give birth naturally. She will breastfeed for a long time. She'll be completely content with motherhood alone. She won't want to work outside the house. She won't want to aspire to, you know, her dreams will die. She will go up in her kids and her family. And there are very good aspects about this. But we need to support that mom who says, this is going to take some work. Mm -hmm. This is going to take some growing against my own grain. Mm -hmm. Just creating a space of grace for moms to understand their design and to understand why certain aspects are tough. What would you say is the number one struggle moms have or the number one insecurity? The standard okay. of something like the Proverbs 31 mom who seems to be a night owl and a morning person. She cooks, <laughs> she sews, she runs a business. Her husband adores her. Her kids adore her. And that for any mom on a Sunday morning is often not, mm -hmm. not true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how do you... Uh, how do you very interesting off-the-cuff question here, but when you look at Proverbs 31, yes. how do you interpret or how do you uh, 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 judge that whole soliloquy of, of mm. who the perfect woman is? I fast forward a little bit to the end, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then it says, every God-fearing woman should be honored. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that if I fear God, and that includes believing that he did not make a mistake in the way he designed me and in the way he put our family together. Mm -hmm. And if I trust him, then I'm a supernatural mom and I don't need to be the super mom. I can take off that cape and I can stop faking it and I can trust him that in spite of my mistakes, he will still make every promise true that he made concerning my kids. Mm -hmm. What's fascinating to me is your travels across the country, uh, around the world, and you got a chance to see different parenting mm -hmm. styles. What are, what's the one similarity that we all have in common? What's the one thing that mothers around the world? Is it the fact that we all hold our babies on the left side <laughs> near our heart? Or what is it? Would, what would you say that you've discovered? We will die for them. Good we point. We all have such high ideals for them. And we need that assurance that our mistakes will not destroy their lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really good. Thank you so much for joining us. You're so interesting. We're going to have Hetty back with us to share more. To connect with Hetty, go to HettyBritz.com for a link to her new project. It's called Unnatural Mom, Why You Are the Perfect Mom for Your Kids. And be sure to like us on Facebook to get exclusive content only available on the Harvest Show Facebook page. Coming up later, Brian Bush with the latest news from Israel. We'll be right back.